loves welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video i'm not doing a makeup tutorial but i'm doing a hair tutorial so this is if you're interested um i did a wavy beach hair but glam so if you want to learn how to how to achieve this wavy glam hair tutorial make sure you like and subscribe started All right, hi makeup loves, well welcome. And let's get started. So first and foremost, I do have long hair. It goes all the way to my stomach. The tutorial is meant for people that have either medium to long hair. Um, if you do have shorter hair, um, you would use a smaller wand. So I am using a curling iron to do my waves. And I'm using a size one one and a half I believe this is and excuse me this fell off but it still works wonder so this one is an infinity pro con air this one goes up to probably up to level 29 waves to be very natural if you do use a small one they are going to become very curly and they're not going to look as beachy waves and as natural if I'm making sense so you're gonna need this um, for hairspray I have two options I this is my favorite and I'm almost running out this is my Dove style and care this is a flexible hold hairspray um, this provides um, flexible hold and movement so this is what it looks like and I get the number four when choosing a hairspray, you want to make sure you don't use a very strong one or that's meant to like, like not move your hair because you want that natural, but you want it to stay. You don't want it to look like very dry, and very stiff. So you want something that's going to be specifically for, for that, for your waves, for your hairstyle to look natural, but to be able to hold. And I do have another one. Um, this one I was sent by Professional Sebastian. This is a Shape Zero Gravity. So this is a dry, brushable, lightweight control hairspray. So like I say, make sure you, this is the way it looks like. So make sure um, when using a hairspray, don't use a maximum to hold. You want something that's gonna be like this one, that's gonna provide flexible hold and movement and something that's gonna be lightweight and brushable because you don't want your beachy waves to look stiff, like I said, if that makes sense. Um, now to add volume when we finish doing our curling, you wanna get, um, this is the Dope Refresh and Care. This is volume and fullness. This not only is when you don't um, shower your hair every day, um, so you want to use this. This is just going to freshen up. Um, this is going to remove oil, clean hair with volume and fullness. So I'll show you how to use this. This is going to create that fullness in your hair. And then I have BioLage. This is a texturizing styling spray. And this has matcha green tea. Texturize your hair and just keep it the way you want it when we spray it. But at the, I'll, this is the way it looks like. I'll show you guys at the end. So, and then this is a, excuse my messy, and you do need a scrunchie because we're going to be doing actually just half. Um, so if you're interested, I know this was a little long, but I just want to kind of explain how everything works out, what products you need. So let's get started. Let's plug this baby in. Fred, that means it's ready. So you want to make sure your hair is completely dry because you want to make sure that when you curl your hair, um, you want to make sure it's dry so that it can hold. If you have it a little damp or wet, it's not going to work. It's just going to fall off. But like I said, um, if you do have very curly hair, I suggest first to straighten your hair because if you just add the curling iron, it's just going to make it more way more curlier and we don't want that we want to create a beachy wave like if you went to the beach and your hair got messed up that's what we're looking for today 
Now, if you have um, wavy hair or straight hair, make sure you just blow dry it. Like mine is like, it's not straight, but it's not wavy. It's just, it's either I gotta do something with my hair, but anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna grab half of my hair. Hopefully you guys can see, I'm just gonna grab half. And then I'm just gonna put this top on a bun and we're gonna start with our bottom half. So you're just gonna section just one time. So then what you wanna do is you're gonna part in the middle, make two. To create that perfect beach wave, you don't wanna grab this much. No, because this is just going to create a very curly, curly, curly hair and we don't want that nice volume on our hair and nice beachy, wavy hair. So what I usually do, I start off here. I grab about this much. So it's about, I don't know how to, about this much. Now, if you have a wand that's already flat like this, go ahead. But mine is like a curling, but I usually don't use this. I usually don't go. I open this and I'm gonna start about two inches off my hair. So I'm not gonna do it all the way up because again, we don't wanna create a very curly hair. We wanna create a wavy hair. So we wanna make it look natural. So I usually start about this much and then I put on the wand. And then I go one, two, three. So I leave about one inch at the end of the hair because you don't want that to be curly. And then I leave about 15, min 15 minutes, 15 seconds, and then let it go. So you'll have this wave. And then what I do once I'm done is I'm gonna just flip it back. That way I know I'm done. Again, I'm gonna grab the same amount of hair Grab it. You're just doing this same, leaving this at the end. Back, then the last hair. Now we're gonna go with the next hair. Grab this much. Start here and you leave this much. Sorry if I'm not explaining that well. This is like my first tutorial doing this, so just bear with me. I haven't done a hair tutorial on my YouTube. We're gonna remove this and I'm gonna just part my hair in the middle because that's how I want it. Depending if, if you want it sideways, just part whatever your hair. And I'm gonna grab this, just put it here with the tie, hair tie. And then we're gonna go with this. Let's just brush it off. I know it gets a little tangled. And then again, you're gonna wanna Grab this much. You want to start again here and then hopefully you guys can see. See? See how this much? are growing I'm just a little tip I'm just gonna grab here and just kind of so that it could blend it okay we're gonna leave this as is and then we're gonna come back 
So then again, this side, we're just gonna, again, you grab this much, grabbing a little more, and then again, just start in the middle. Couple seconds, let it go, there you go. And you don't wanna leave it for too long because then it's just gonna create a very, very curly hair and you don't want that. We want them to be to be loose, so. They don't look flat. So I can see what I mean. So that it could just flat like that. Okay, so next thing that we're gonna do. So you see how it's wavy, but it's not curly. Um, that's what we're going for. Now, this is where it comes in place where either you're gonna use your dry shampoo if you have a dry shampoo, or if you have a texturizing styling spray. You like flat here but then you see the waves and then flat here if it were to look curly here and curly up here then it would be curly here but we want to create that you know wavy hair so what i do is i part my hair up and then just spray it onto that to create that so do you see how much this is half? This is flat and then with the texturizing spray, how much volume it gave to your hair. Now I have a lot of hair, but if you don't have that much hair, that is fine, this is gonna work. And then I like to grab it from the top and kinda, kinda go like this. And kinda, okay. So next thing that we want to do is we want to create a couple waves here. So what I'm going to do is now grab a couple, just like this one right here. And then again, do the same thing. Couple seconds, let it go. Just grab a couple different ones from the top, just thin ones, let it go. So that it could create a little bit more volume. So this one. Grab it, the same steps, but just thinner that way. There you go. Same on this side, I'm gonna just grab a tiny one and then kinda and then let it go. Just grab one here, that's straight. And then let it go. I have like baby hair, so what, that's where you're gonna use your hairspray. So I'm gonna use it. On, I wish I could see. I'll use it on top, and then kind of that's what I do. So, and then I go like this, just so that any flyaways or any hair that's sticking up, you know, stays down. And then what I do with the hairspray, because you want. A very natural lightweight control of your hair you don't want it to look very um, sticky so just make sure um, this is the hairspray and this is the Sebastian this is a shape zero gravity and then from far just so that it can stay through the whole day now if you want to add more volume um, just part your hair up a little bit at the because I already have a lot of hair but if you don't have hair use I suggest that you use the volume and fullness dry shampoo that way it could create more on top but I'll show you guys for the sake of the video so be very very careful so what you'll do is you'll shake it and then from far 
and that's just going to add volume here. Do you see how it added this volume here? So, so this is the final look to get a nice, a nice wavy hair. Thank you.